Automobiles. In 1886, Carl Benz invented the automobile, but it was not widely used until Henry Ford invented the Model T in 1908 and started mass producing it. Ford's automobiles featured an internal combustion engine, invented by Gottlieb Daimler, which vaporized gasoline as a fuel source. Ford used assembly lines to produce his cars and was able to sell 16.5 million Model Ts. The initial cost of the Model T in 1909 was $825, about $22,000 today, and only the rich could afford it. However, by 1925, the cost of the Model T had dropped to $250, about $3,500 today. 40% of Americans who owned cars in 1915 owned the Model T. Bessemer Process the Bessemer process was a method used to produce steel. Henry Bessemer was a British engineer who patented his process in 1857. Bessemer's process was based on sending an air blast through the iron, which would supply oxygen to react with the impurities, converting them into oxides that were separable as slagged or carried out by the air. His method was faster and cheaper than any other previous method. Human flight. In 1903, Wilbur and Orville Wright, the Wright brothers, made the first human-powered flight in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Other flights were attempted before, but they all had resulted in death. The Wright brothers were brothers that ran a bicycle shop in 1892, and their experience in gears and motors helped the development of the first plane. They experimented with gliders, wing, and propeller designs before constructing the airplane. The first flight lasted for 12 seconds and flew for 120 feet, and Wilbur flew the last test flight for 58 seconds. The first human-powered flight was not publicized and ignored mostly until 1905, when their planes, which could now stay aloft for 39 minutes at a time, began to gain popularity. Edison In 1879, Thomas Edison invented the incandescent light bulb in Menlo Park, New Jersey. Although the light bulb was attempted before Edison, he created the first long-lasting light bulb, which lasted for 13 and a half hours. His light bulbs were publicly displayed in a light show used to advertise his light bulbs. His light bulb is considered to be one of the most important inventions in history. Edison also invented the phonograph in 1877, and it was the first machine able to record and play back sounds. The kinetograph, also called a motion picture camera, was invented by Edison in 1897 as an early form of cinematography. Edison also introduced the Research and Development Lab, which took research and found new uses for it, and also helped to create new products. In 1875, Carnegie perfected the Bessemer process of making steel and started mass producing it. Carnegie tweaked the Bessemer process so that he could mass produce steel beams, thus making it possible for skyscrapers to be constructed taller than before. He believed in vertical integration, where a company owns all parts of the process. In 1899, Carnegie wrote his famous book called The Gospel of Wealth. In his book, Carnegie made a famous statement, no one remembers a dead millionaire. It explained his act of donating $350 million and the philosophy that the wealthy had a duty in society to provide for the less fortunate.
When Carnegie retired in 1901, he sold his company to J.P. Morgan for $480 million, who formed the U.S. Steel Corporation. In 1870, Rockefeller founded the Standard Oil Company, which controlled 90% of America's oil supply. Rockefeller used horizontal integration, or controlling as much as an industry as possible. The Standard Oil Trust, a fancy name for Rockefeller's oil monopoly, was created in 1863 but was broken up by the Sherman Antitrust Act. This act was passed by Benjamin Harrison in 1890 and made any contract, combination in the form of trust or otherwise, or conspiracy in the restraint of trade illegal. By using assembly lines, factories greatly increased their efficiency and drastically reduced the time and cost of labor. Frederick W. Taylor's system of scientific management established that time and money were equivalent, setting standards for how quickly a task ought to be done. In Ford's factory, each worker was assigned a specific job which they repeated over and over. Ford realized that factory work was tedious and developed the $5 day plan, where he paid his workers $5 a day. A significant increase of salary contrasted to other factory jobs. Gradually, workers began to be more like interchangeable parts, while repetitive tasks increased the risk of worker injury. As a result of advancements in technology, factories were able to hire women and children at cheap rates, cutting down on labor costs. Additionally, as scientific management and assembly lines improved, workers began to lose their independence. Due to this, many labor unions were formed. They worked toward goals such as shorter hours and higher wages, often striking and rioting in an attempt to further their goals. The most famous riot was the Haymarket Riot, where anarchists detonated a bomb in the middle of a riot, killing both strikers and police alike. Immigration. The expansion of industry was accompanied by a proliferation in factories. Such factories did not require as many skilled workers as they previously had and almost anyone can work in them. The non-restrictive requirements along with higher pay and provisions such as the $5 day plan made factory work enticing to foreigners. Immigration rates hit a high of 1,285,349 new legal immigrants in 1907, which in recent times is only rivaled by 1991's 1,826,595. Clothing and Appliances Department stores were first introduced and became popular in New York City with the construction of Macy's in Herald Square, New York. Department stores sold a variety of products like furniture, housewares, and clothing. Clothing saw a drop in prices when Isaac Singer invented the sewing machine, which contributed to the mass production of ready-to-wear affordable clothing. In 1857, Thomas Gayetti invented toilet paper, but it was not popular amongst poor people. Gayetti's toilet paper sold for 50 cents a package, which is today's equivalent of about $12. The invention of toilet paper was used for comfort, because previously people often wiped with whatever they found, which was usually the newspaper. Health The hygiene and health of Americans were greatly increased during the machine age. The construction of sewer systems in New York City helped toilets become more widespread and used. In 1913, Elmer McCollum discovered vitamins A and B which provided many advances in nutrition. The invention of cornflakes by William Kellogg revolutionized breakfast foods and was supposedly healthier than the traditional breakfast. The death causes of the average person also changed. In the 1870s, sickness and disease were the main causes of death in cities. But as medicine advanced, old age became a more common cause of death. In addition, as processed foods became more popular, the death rate from rare diseases like cancer, heart disease, and diabetes, all modern causes of death, increased. Mass transportation. Developments in technology allow new ways of reliable public transportation. The original horse-drawn vehicles were slowly replaced by motorized transport along railroads since they moved faster. 
In the 1880s, cable cars moved through cities by using an underground wire clamped to the base of the carriage. They were quickly replaced by electric trolleys which use overhead wires to move. In some cities, underground subway tunnels were added to reduce traffic congestion. Mass transportation overall resulted in an expansion and outward movement of cities and population. Modern Media This time period saw rapid growth of media. America saw an increase in supply but not in demand and therefore advertising was needed to create demand. Retailers spent $9.5 million on advertising in 1865. By 1919, this number had reached almost $500 million. Moreover, people utilized new technologies to better market their products. Outdoor billboards with electric lights and electrical signs were dynamic and appealing, challenging newspapers as the forerunner of advertising platforms. There was more growth than in just advertising, however. The kinetograph or motion picture camera spurred the growth of the movie and cinematography industry. The machine age was a defining moment in American history. This time period saw not only the invention of many things which can still be seen today, but it also witnessed the development of science-based methods and modern ideologies of capitalism and consumerism.